at all. That's all right. I was just asking, you had your first home run of the season tonight, and how was it for you just having that experience and really just kind of getting it out? Did it feel like once it came off the bat, you knew it was going into over the fences? Um, yeah, you know, it's always nice to get the first one out of the way. Um, but, yeah, you know, it's, it's always nice to get the first one. It seemed like it really set things off, and hitting was just contagious today, which is, of course, I mean – you see it back to back with Chris Taylor, but what did you see offensively from your team? Yeah, you know, we did a really good job tonight. Um, we took a lot of good pitches, got ourselves in good counts and put good swings on baseballs tonight, um, up and down the lineup. You know, even even when we made outs, we hit balls really hard tonight. And that's kind of what you want. And that's what we've been preaching. Thanks, Corey. Thank you. Next question is from Ron Kavner. Go ahead. Hey, Corey, you had a lot of guys make their home debuts, whether it was Mookie in front of fans or, or Bauer, obviously. Could you sense at all what that experience meant for them? Yeah, you know, that's that's really cool for them um, to kind of be able to get out there and get in front of the fans for the first time and experience what it, uh, it's like to play in front of this crowd. You know, it, it's a special thing, and I, I know they didn't take it for granted. Thanks. Next question is from Mike DiGiovanna. Go ahead. Hey, Corey, what did you see on the uh, little infield dribble uh, by Hampson in the third? Did you think, like, he, Trevor had a shot at that guy? Um, yeah, you know, I thought he made a really good play. Um, Hampson's really fast, and to be able to make it even that close, you know, that, that's that's pretty impressive how well he got off the mound. Um, it's tough, that was kind of the only one. But, you know, I, I thought he threw the ball really great tonight, and um, he – He's done that kind of every time he's gone on the mound for us, and it, it's fun to be behind him. You've had three starts from him now. Uh, <laughs> what are your impressions of this guy so far? Um, he's really good. You know, he, he has a game plan for everybody. He knows what he wants to do. He attacks people. Um, he keeps them off balance, and he, he's, a, he's a gamer, that's for sure. Thanks. Next question from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Corey, you guys have made life miserable for Senzatella the last couple of years. What's the game plan when you face him? Um, you know, I, I just thought we did a really good job battling him. Um, we battled him in Colorado, too. You know, we, we took some pitches that were borderline and got into better counts and put some good swings on him tonight. Um, he's not an easy A-B, and for how well we've handled him is a, a compliment to our lineup and what – they've been able to do and how we've controlled the strike zone and put good swings on balls when we did swing. Your starting pitchers have been terrific so far, six innings or more and very low ERA. How much of an advantage do they give you? Yeah, huge. You know, when you guys going out there and just shutting down another lineup, you know, you, you don't feel like you need to do too much. And when you don't do too much, that's when you score a lot of runs. So for what those guys have been able to do for us so far and the bullpen as well, you know, Absolutely shutting teams down, and that's that's it's hats off to him. It's been impressive to watch. Thank you.